Hi guys and welcome to your first impression of Windows 10. So let's get started. Let's click that start bar to see what comes up. And we have a new addition to the Windows family and that's the live tiles have been integrated into the Windows desktop. Just like the Windows start screen, we can move these live tiles around, we can minimize them, we can maximize them. Just click on resize, we can resize the tile. There it goes on the left hand side of the screen. We can move the tiles around. An interesting thing is going to be one of Microsoft's biggest decisions will be who gets the Windows 10 upgrade. If it does come for free, will it come to the Windows 7 users? Or will it be a free upgrade for the Windows 8.1 users? Or will it be available for everyone? Highly unlikely. Or historically, will it be sold and packaged for around about $100 to $200? So any operating system prior to Windows 7, like Windows XP or Vista, will have to will not be able to upgrade. They'll have to do a clean install of Windows 10. One thing, if uh, you liked Windows 7, it is back. The start bar is back, and you can look for your programs. And I'm quite happy about this. I was a big Windows 7 fan, so I'm I'm, I'm actually loving this uh, Windows 8, Windows 7 clash. So it's perfect for me. The browser Codium Spartan should be appearing on Windows 10 and it's apparently it's going to be one of the most advanced features on a browser. It's going to have Cortana integrated, rumoured to have Cortana integrated and uh, we'll also be able to grip tabs so you can separate your work from your personal so that'd be pretty interesting. And uh, when we're on the subject of multitasking, Windows 10 makes even bigger use of uh, multitasking, especially the tabs and uh, but sorry, the basically flicking in between the screens so you can cascade the Windows tiles and you know more will be unveiled of Windows 10 on the 21st of January. Uh, what Windows are hoping to do or Microsoft are hoping to do is basically unify across all the platforms that's their mobiles, their tablets, their Surface and the PC. So if you want to install Windows safely I've done an install tutorial for installing Windows 10 on Virtual box, which won't affect your programs because it's running the virtual box, of course. So you can check that out in one of the in one of the links. It'll just be on your screen. So please do check out the Windows if you want to install Windows safely onto your current operating system to try it out. It's uh, personally legal. It's it's legal, and I've got the key for you. So uh, check out the video, and hopefully see you next time. Over and out.